Yeah, we yeah, could yeah, just no. do that. I'm the only one technically streaming right now. All right. So, I'll just do that. we are connected and we I'm waiting for the waiting for the button to go blue before I All right. There we go. Just do a countdown. 3 yeah. 2 all right, hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to something new. This show was Ben's idea, actually. Yeah, so what we're doing today is kind of interesting. So, for those that aren't in the loop, I love Death Out. Kevin hates Death Out. For good Dunn, reason. He's <laughs> Done, he's neutral, and we also got special guest Yami. Say hi, Yami. Hey... So, hey. so, what we're, so what we're going to do is we are going to watch, not tonight, but we're going to try and watch every single episode of Death Bow, but with a twist. So I set up something pretty stupid, and uh, are you showing the screen done? Yes, I, I have the uh, stream on screen. Fun yeah, so also, this is I... like the second time in our history that we have our avatars on screen. Cool. Woo! Yeah, so we actually were in... Um... <laughs> We're, we're encroaching on Mauler's territory of actually having decent Discord streams. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so what we're going to do is, we're not going to watch the episodes in order like sane people. No, 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 no. We're going to do this. We're going to be stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this Wanna be starting wheel. something. And um, I also didn't mention this, but I also added spin agains to this. I had oh, a few lovely. dozen of those in here. You can see one right there, actually. So, oh joy! So we've been we were late on this, so we're just we're just gonna start. Yeah, I've I've kind of been out of the loop of death battle for a while. I uh, the last episode oh, I watched, oh, <laughs> the last episode I I watched all the way through was uh, Omni Man versus Homelander. Actually, that's a good one. I yeah, it was. Been again. No! Lara Croft versus Nathan Drake. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, my God. Here we go. I was going to say, I remember that being one of the worst episodes. Okay. Oh, let's uh, what, a, what, a, what a way to start this, huh? What a fucking way to start this. Let me get the video up for you guys. Oh, oh this is... Uh, oh, God. Oh, damn it. Oh, I'm so disappointed. <laughs> All right, let me know when you have the uh, thing back up. when screw it. Uh, back when they had actual integrity and didn't sell out to Rooster Teeth. I miss screw right. Yeah, I've got the uh, I've got it up on screen. Yep, okay, I'm gonna start it. Let me if it stutters at all. I did restart my computer to make sure it works. So it might there it is. The there we go. Yep, there is we go. reason the video's reversed. Yeah, I've um, to avoid copyright. Yeah. You can just watch it on yeah. uh. You can just watch it on Ben's stream. You don't have to watch it on mine. Yeah, you don't have to watch it on his. Since like, is just stream it through Discord. Oh, no, I'm just curious. The, I was just curious. I don't plan on watching it there. Yeah, this was, um, this is the season four premiere, and it's one of the worst premiere episodes they've done ever. It's, uh, uh, we'll get to why we get there, but, uh, let's give this a watch. people spend their entire lives in pursuit of wealth. Oh, I mean, the old Tomb Raider music Roger is fucking did. great. However, Greatest fear, Aunt Pet Corgi. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so picture basically, clips. Yeah, this so is basically so basically every weekend with Angelina Jolie. Yeah. Yeah. This <laughs> is before the uh, the Tomb Raider movie with uh, what's her face. Yeah, Alicia Vikander. Or, um, that was I before had to, the reboot. Yeah, I, I actually... I couldn't remember the actress's name. I actually had to pull out my copy of the film to see who it was. Yeah, this they're recasting, by the way. They're recasting for a second oh, thank reboot. Thank fucking God. <laughs> Just get Angelina Jolie back, and then there you go. You got a movie people will want to watch. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if she can do the stunts anymore. Yeah. And she had to get, like, she had a, a breast cancer Damn. scare and had to get, like, full, um, full breast reconstruction, so it's, she that's, that's looks a little bad. bit strange. 
Yeah. Like, her mother had, had, like, deadly breast cancer, and she had, like, like, 99% absolutely gonna get that, so she just said, not taking the risk. Coke. Heckler and Coke. Oh my god. What was that cartoon? Of course, Booms. Of course. Or as Chad pronounces something wrong. <laughs> well, he's supposed to be a redneck, so... Yeah, but you'd think... You'd, you'd think that the redneck would know how to pronounce a fucking weapon's name, you know? <laughs> Is it like what a tomato fuck? thing? That's... What the hell is that pickaxe, though? I've never seen one like that. Yeah, they're mixing... They're mixing original with reboot Tomb Raider. It's yeah. composite character. Although, yeah, honestly, I can't fucking blame them, because... What is this cartoon? I've never seen that. That is... <laughs> Lara Croft is not worthy to lift Mjolnir. <laughs> There's a woman who knows all that glitters is gold, and she's buying a stairway to heaven. I. Okay, I take it back. She must be divine in some sort because she does not have enough muscle to be able to fucking deadlift that gate on her. I don't have. I don't have the muscle to deadlift that. Maybe video games. They're gonna, they're gonna do shit that nobody can do. <laughs> like that. I thought that was a kid. I'll use my boobs as a flotation device. <laughs> yes. And nobody would have, nobody would have a problem with that. Hell, this girl can survive almost anything. When she was younger, she got in oh. a rusty metal spike. Okay, so they're they're from what I from what I'm able to put together just now. They see the reboot Tomb Raider as literally a prequel. Oh. Uh. Yeah. I mean, I get it, but that's not really a reboot then. That's just a prequel. How the fuck did she do that? I I know those fire effects. Piss off angry hardcore gamer. This is my shit cube. This is the death battle. This is Lara Croft. Oh god. Oh, god. Oh, god. That one. The risk doesn't keep her from any of her bewildering I still smash. You, you sick. Wow, 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 wow. she killed us. Magna. Yeah, the world dead. Stream over. Little meaning, but for globetrotting explorer Nathan Drake, it's his life motto. Drake oh, Captain, voiced by Nolan North. And beginnings don't get much smaller than his. He was in what, uh, Saints Row 3rd, 4th? Master of the Half Tuck shirt. Excuse me. Oh, Road to El Dorado was good. Yeah, that was a great movie. On, on the one hand, gold. On the other hand, painful, <laughs> painful agonizing, agonizing failure. I have quoted that movie in real life. <laughs> How convenient. Gee, Alex, it's almost like this retcon was stupid, remember? <laughs> yeah, I hate Uncharted 4 so much. <laughs> So, fun fact about El Dorado, like they were so have a slow. Yeah, That's Uncharted 3. Uncharted 3 was also fucking terrible. Yeah, Uncharted 3 is the worst one for me. Can't beat that music, though. Uncharted 4 is less broken, I think, but 
it's still yeah, not good from right. a story perspective, you know? Although I will say, like, Uncharted 3 cut out that s uh, Uncharted 3 had that stupid fucking drug trip sequence in it, so, you know, uh, Uncharted yeah, 4 has a better story. Somehow? I still think Tom Holland was a really odd casting choice. Marky Mark was movie. right in the- was in the fucking movie. And of yet, the actor, and yet they had him play Sully. Yeah. Even like Tom Holland admitted that he wished he played the character differently than he did in the actual film. If anything, they should have just cast him as young Nathan Drake, not Nathan Drake. I mean, hell, they got the actual Nathan Drake in the movie. Apparently. Yeah, they had him cameo in the movie, which was cool, but like, eh. You know what you could have done. You could have let Nathan Fillion make the rest of that movie he was planning on. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that would have been better. Yeah, let's not listen to a Hollywood actor that played the game and that a lot of people fan casted him in. And who the character was literally based on. Besides, didn't he already do uh, Uncharted something? Yeah, the Uncharted. No, he was in the Uncharted fan film. Yeah, he, he made it. There's also another thing. It was, was kind of like Uncharted. He was in space. Oh, uh, what was it called? A Firefly? Uh, I'd say that was more for sort of Indiana Jonesy, but yeah, at yeah, times. Yeah, but let's face it, Tomb Raider and. and yeah, Uncharted Tomb Raider and Uncharted are just Indiana Jones with the serial numbers filed off. Yeah. Which is why when they made Indiana Jones video games, most of the most of the halfway decent ones were basically Tomb Raider. Yeah. Except for uh, Fate of Atlantis, which was a point and click adventure game. It's stretching it if you're gonna compare Indiana Jones with Tomb Raider in that. Uncharted three. It's fucking stupid. <laughs> He survived for two days in the desert. How? That is a feat worth talking about. That shows how tough he can be. Uh, I guess Boomstick made a deal with the devil. No, the, see, the devil went down to Georgia, and Boomstick was, and Boomstick was the guy who beat him in a fiddle slash guitar match. <laughs> no, Boomstick actually and, has a shotgun for a leg. And the golden, and the golden instrument turned out to be really shitty at playing music. There is a theory someone sold their soul to the devil to have Home Alone being be a top grossing movie. Did you know they made a Home Alone uh, sequel recently? Yes. We don't talk about that. Uh, yay, save the world. Alright, let's get to one of Torian's worst animations, unfortunately. I think this is. Yeah, it was. I wouldn't say this is the worst. I think this is more no, not of a. The worst, that's but not Mikasa versus. Is less Blake. than decent. Yeah. Look at Nathan. Look at him. Ah, uh, he looks so weird. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, he looks weird, man. Uh, this what? Looks awful. Who do they get to voice him in this episode? He sounds nothing like Drake. Gotcha. I don't know. Good question. Yeah, yeah but who's good. gonna? How? Who's gonna sound like Nathan Fillion? I mean, Nathan Fillion. Who's gonna sound like Nolan uh, North? Nolan I mean, North? Gun, why didn't? Why, uh, just get Nolan North. North. <laughs> just. They didn't even get a model that uh, looks like Nathan Drake. Look at his hair! <laughs> Cut the chit chat. They've the used works. models ripped from the games before. Why wouldn't they use that here? I don't know. Man. It's a good question. They, they, they got a model of Laura Croft ripped from the games. So I don't know why Nathan is. Why would she give him the opportunity to draw the AK? I <laughs> indeed. Suspense. You know, the live-action, um... So, Bat in the Sun had a, a Drake versus Croft... <sighs> Bat in the Sun had a Drake versus Croft, uh... Uh... Showdown thing. I think it was part of their Superpower Beatdown show. And it was way better than this. 
Yep. Very, very much so. Oh, there. they shot the cop. Oh, that's not good. Yeah. That's supposed to be the Holy Grail, I'm, I'm assuming. Yeah. Why I, hasn't I Indiana saying. Jones and or the Knights Templar gotten to it yet? Why hasn't... What the fuck Arturia was that? ...gotten to it? No shit, Nathan, or uh, fake They're not Nathan clone writing. Nathan. <laughs> the writing is fucking terrible. Like, Drake's dialogue has yeah. always been corny, but it's always been endearingly corny. Like, that's part of the reason people like him. And there goes her shoulder, realistically. Like, Drake is a really nah, good character. Video games. Like, Nathan Drake is a really good character, due in part to the, like... Like, the fact that his dialogue is so endearingly corny and also, like, like how- did WHERE THE FUCK DID THAT COME FROM?! Where did it come from?! Somewhat. THAT'S he NOT HOW YOU USE A BOW! Place. They've seen too many episodes of Arrow! Yeah. <laughs> they well, considering they've used Arrow as reference as for Ollie's battle with, with Hawkeye, yeah. SI Listen, Drake, that. I'm gonna give you some advice. Grab her by the pussy. I uh, still think Tomb Raider looks a little bit off. It it does, but that's because they have classic Tomb Raider colors on the uh, yeah on the uh, the model from the more recent games. What did she scrape yeah, her arm on? Oh, that's like well, what the fuck is up with that shoulder? Hang on, her oh, arms are too yeah. fucking small. Shoulders. Look at those shoulders. Look at the arms. They're too small for the torso. <laughs> They it's weren't crazy. like that earlier. What? The shoulders. The shoulders. Drake. The shoulders. Drake, the shoulders. bail out, Drake. Bail out, Drake. Lame. Boo. Boo. Lame. Lame. Not a scratch. Wasn't there like and a? This is the, what the def This is the point of Nathan's case. Lucky. I had some. <laughs> I'll find out, I guess. Uh, that was awful. Okay, I'm going over to the. Uh, I'm going over to the tier list. Where is this? This what a what episode is this? No, the episode's not over. Watch the results. No, this is the results. Fuck you. But in Lara's case, she moved several limestone blocks. Yeah, part of the part of the thing is that. The, the analysis of this is kind of off, because these two characters are from two very different eras of video gaming. So Drake is... Drake is from a more realistic era, even though there's a lot of really, like, crazy shit that goes on in his games. Right. Yeah. Excuse me, but, uh... But Lara's from the... put it an absolute failure. From the 90s? Yeah, I'm, I'm calling... I'm calling this. Yeah. I'm calling an audible on this one. This is trash. 90s and early 2000s. Yeah, yeah. Like I agree. I agree with the results. Right? I do agree. But like the rest of this episode, it's bad. Like the like, animations, some of the worst they've done. Not the worst. You can. But it's up there. The you could have justified how this ended. You could have very easily justified how this ended if it ended in a. A, like knockdown drag out fist fight with the two of them being exactly. out of ammunition and in her just outlasting Drake you know oh the that would have worked the death is also, it's awful because it misses the point of Drake's character in every way he's always lucky well, it's also an anti-climax it's it's anticlimactic as fuck I think what they were trying to go for is that Luck had ran out, but even then, I still think it's a little weird that he gets killed by failure. This is an absolute failure. Yeah, yeah absolute, absolute failure. Absolute failure. Where the, the fuck? Your list. It's going on. It's going on the absolute failure list. It's right here. You're going. Okay. You're going to the last one, pal. Inside. Absolute failure tier. All right. All right. Yeah, update their, yeah uh, I've got list. it. I don't think you guys I... actually. Before we go, we don't even need to debate on this on the. Uh, Methley one, do we? No, absolute no, absolutely failure. fucking no, not. No, we do not. No debate. It's just no debate. Absolute <laughs> failure on the Methley tier list. No. Moving on. I, I would say we'll put yeah. it in a pretty bad you know, because I didn't even explain some... that to the. I didn't there's explain that to the viewers. Stuff. You can put it in pretty bad, yeah, I mean, head, yeah, but everybody like, else is like saying absolute stuff, failure. Like, I mean, yeah. yeah, there is a few good things. There's a few decent animation stuff. There's a few. Like, the analysis was decent, but like. 
the rest of it is so bad it doesn't even matter yeah like, this is an episode <sighs> i dread on going back to like this is an episode i hate going back to because it, it's just not fair it's no. just not good it's one of the all worst. right yeah we can right. yeah let's go ahead and move on in the wheel in the wheel oh, wheel of fate turn 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 Boy, which shit. episode of death battle should we watch that didn't rhyme but fuck it Oh, Boba oh! Fett versus Samus oh, Aran. Oh, okay, remastered. it's the remastered version. So it's the. the uh... We're doing uh, both versions. Okay, yeah. we're doing this both versions. The... Yeah, this is. I actually get the streaming. This is that's... um their very first episode. Yeah. so that's gonna be fun. The very first, and then the remastered episode. I have not long, watched that episode in probably longer. about a decade. We're gonna watch some interesting mic quality changes. <laughs> is on the part of both Ben and Singer and Chad. Yeah. Yeah. They, and if you go the back, the first two seasons ready. they sound too eerily similar to each other. Yeah. yeah. Tell, me you, tell it done. Are you we're ready? ready. Yeah, we've got it. This is, yeah, this got be interesting. This is this is way back at the very beginning. This is eleven years ago. Feel old. Galactic pirates of living beings. Blow shit up for this is when Chad Ryan sounded more like Chad. <laughs> this is when both like uh, uh, both of them were dumbasses. Yeah, this is when they called himself Wizard instead of Wiz. Wiz and Wizard and Boomstick, yeah. Yeah. Why is Boba Fett's jetpack farting hearts? I think it's because as Chewbacca's shooting him. I know. Arsenal of death. Plus, he wears the most badass space suit ever. That's no ordinary space suit, Boomstick. That's Fett's Mandalorian. I love how Wiz's voice hasn't changed hardly at all in Boomstick. It's gradually getting to sound more like this. Yeah, Jack's <laughs> voice has changed, but Ben says remain mostly the same. I feel like the only change with Ben is he's more, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's been, it's flanderization on, uh, yeah. Boomstick's part. Not weird at all, Boomstick. Yeah. yeah. Fill us in on Fett's heavy weaponry. Well, everybody and their grandmother knows that he can zoom around on his badass jetpack. But that jetpack also has Hands a free. <laughs> Before <laughs> Death Battle was a thing, was this a matchup that people were wondering about, like, who would win kind of thing? I mean, they're like, basically uh, just the... It's the the like two Marvel most famous like... bounty hunters in fiction. Where the hell is this footage from? Like, I don't recognize half this live action. Huh. Some of the live action you might... Uh, some of the live action with Boba Fett you might be seeing it from is fr probably from the Christmas special. No, Boba Fett wasn't in the Christmas special. The animation is from the Christmas special. I can answer this question. They do show footage from a fan film, but it uses stuff from the canon. Or at least formerly canon stuff. Okay. Oh, yeah, because the... I remember... Actually, yeah, I remember that fan film. That was based on the one of the comics, I think. Yeah. Samus Aran for Metroid Other M, the game we don't talk about. Why do you think yeah, I'm not going to be like streaming the most yet? Game at the time. I just want to talk about her pixie cut. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that. That was pretty hot. They're blitzing the analysis. Well, this was the first episode. This is when the research is very amateurish. So, with yeah. the early days, you just kind of have to accept it. I would say it was until Rainbow Dash vs. Starscream and research started being really serious. <laughs> that was a fucking weird episode! We'll get to and it. yet we'll I'm get like, to Starscream it. is such a joke that he would lose to a pony. True, <laughs> but at the same time... Uh, well, the Chozo DNA up. is what basically made Samus insanely flexible. Yeah. Oh, I wonder what that would be like. Always lunch, I pity, I pity the actual man that gets to be with her, her for the I'm rest the of his life. Who wants to be with you? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's basically referring to the fact that every after every game, Samus hashtag canceled. I really miss jokes like these because right. that means oh, that they didn't have to be. By Netflix. Remember that? Remember when Netflix used to have DVDs? 
<laughs> yep. Pepperidge Farm remembers. I actually do remember that. Yeah. Oh my god. You could get a free Netflix streaming DVD back in the day. Yeah, look at this sprite uh, animation. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just a fucking cutout from a magazine. Yep. Oh my god. I have that sound effect on my computer. <laughs> yeah, this is when uh, Ben Steele oh, did super... the animation. Oh, and this is when they had health bars. I forgot. I remember that. the health bars. Yeah, oh wow, this is this 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 animation sucks. Well, it's so static. I can't. Well, let's be fair. You know what? It is the first Mario, episode. Mario Brothers Leia, came out before this, episode. and they're on I a know, deadline I mean, too. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna come out and say it. The animation is bad, but it's charmingly. Yeah, bad. if they hadn't, I, here's the thing. And you, there's a difference between like they. They fucking did something, you know? Well, even if it sucks yeah. now, this was fucking great back in the day because Absolutely. hardly anybody was yeah. doing anything like that. Yeah, I <laughs> Boba! Boba, turn around! Blonde Tits McGee just dropped a fucking bomb on your ass! Oh, God! That Smash Brothers one-liner... I mean, that was kind of static, but sure. Why were they battling in front of the White House? Or were they battling in front of the White House? No, that's not... What? That's a lighthouse. Not a White House. I'm fucking stupid. No, I did say White House. Keep in mind, though, that not only were they on a... Not only was was the, this episode on a deadline, as well as others, like, in the rest of the first yeah, season, yeah. but it was yeah. only Ben at the time that was animating it. He had no help. Yeah, I mentioned that. This was, uh, Ben Singer was the original animator, uh, at the time, until Eggman vs. Wily, which is one of the best episodes, ironically. Yeah, and then Ben was like, and then, I'll, I'll, I'll get my thoughts on that when we get to it. And then Ben was just like, I can't do it. It anymore i'm done <laughs> yeah like he made eggman versus delilah just so he didn't have to animate anymore <laughs> all right okay so done you first all, all right, right so right i'm gonna put this i'm gonna put this on it was fine yeah yeah like, it was fine like for the, the rematch, yeah, for the, the time period is you know objective, is objectively better let's get to the yeah rematch. i mean I mean, I have to agree. Like, uh, as Dunn said, no one was doing this at the time. Back then, it was awesome. Is it dated? Is it bad now? Absolutely. But, like, it's charmingly bad. And it started something that changed the internet forever. And I say that unironically. Yeah. Like, this did change everything at the time. And you have to give this episode credit on that. As, as, as outdated as it is... You now, have to give it credit on that. I will say there were better things on Newgrounds, but the thing is, you could do a hell of a lot more on Newgrounds with their Flash animation support than you could with uh, with YouTube stuff. And you want to yeah. know... Yeah, and there's oh, one thing you have to consider. Like, Ben Singer never animated before, and for someone who never animated before, he did a he did pretty, pretty good. decent animation. Yeah, even, yeah it, it's not bad for an amateur at all. Like, you have to give him credit on that. So he oh, does deserve the credit oh, on it. Man. Ben, one thing to consider, this death battle actually has a song that was forcibly muted because of copyright yeah, we'll, from we'll get, we'll RT, talk, which we'll is ironic considering that. Rooster Teeth now owns death battle. So why couldn't they just yeah. put the auto back in? That's a good uh, fucking question. Because we'll, 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 we'll our dumbasses. We'll 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 um, yeah, that's a good point. Um, all right, you guys are ready. I'm going to start it. If anything, I'm from, uh, if for inspiring us, for encouraging us. For teaching us, we dedicate this to you, Monty Ohm. Yeah, shame you couldn't have dedicated the rest of Ruby to his memory by making it good. Death Jeez. Battle, Death Battle is the only one that really cared about him, unfortunately. The, yeah. Uh, it's it's sad, but I mean, not to say the rest of Rooster Teeth doesn't. I'm talking about more specifically. Hang on, was that from like the FMV game from the '90s? I think. Uh, I think so. Some of this could yeah. have been from the FMV game. 
This is going to be an interesting comparison because there's a lot of similarities and differences with both of these. And it's a 3D animated one. Yeah. One of the one of the best ones. Florian, yeah. In more ways than one. He was not born into the galaxy, rather created as a clone of the fearsome bounty hunter Django Fett. Not fearsome enough though. He tended to get ahead of himself. <laughs> <laughs> the difference in the voice. The difference in the boomstick voice is fucking amazing. Look at the canon age up there. Boba continued to live the hunter's life. 76 legends, yeah. I mean, he's, like, this was before Book of Boba Fett, so... Yeah, this was before Book of Boba Fett, you have a point there. They do joke about this, but we'll get to that. Retractable drinking straw! The thing, Boba will get his win eventually, but not in a good way. In fact, it's so durable, it resists lightsabers. You know, swords that can cut through anything. Hence an idea that I had that maybe we'll get to. <laughs> Kevin knows. <laughs> what are you talking about again? The Mandalorian Iron being lightsaber resistant. He's babying his uh. rifle. <laughs> Who's beeping? <laughs> that, that was me whistling Duel of the Fates. <laughs> I thought you were, I thought someone was doing R2-D2. Beep, 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 Now I want to make a video. Art, R2-D2 sings Duel of the Fates. He's killed hundreds of criminals, politicians, and Jedi, and battled Mace Windu to a draw when he was only 12 years old. An accomplishment so... Hundreds of... Jedi. There weren't hundreds of Jedi for him to kill, he was like 10. I think it was in Legends. This flaw is so uh, he was talking about Ma uh, Mace Windu specifically that he dueled. He's killed hundreds of Jedi, he said. I like this little gag you do. But that's stupid, so here's what happened in the Expanded Universe. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Disney. If even Rooster Teeth's gonna say that shit to you, you know you've done fucked up. Again, this was before Rooster Teeth like, fought them. Yeah. Yeah, Boba Fett became the Mandalore in, uh, the EU. Yeah. And for those of you who are wondering, Mandalore is the position that, uh, Darth Maul usurped in the Clone Wars. Vagina Dentata. Who and in, in the It's a Trap it's Family a Guy special, family. guess who plays the Sarlacc? Who? This joke is coming up. Let's do a joke Take a guess. Returns to the planet Tatooine just to shoot the Sarlacc <laughs> in a spaceship from orbit. He's learned his lesson. Staying as far away from that shit as he possibly can. Here, TV holes aside, you have some. Oh my God! Okay. Sights on that. Okay. In case you don't know, oh who? It's Meg. <laughs> of course. Yeah, it's Meg. Yeah, Meg is the Sarlacc in Family Guy Star Wars. But I was gonna say and like. Uh, Oh, if they had included Metroid Dread feats, Alex. Samus would utterly decimate Boba. Yeah. Oh, that wouldn't be funny. Oh, uh, Ridley in the manga is basically, basically has a sadistic personality now, similar to that of the Joker. Now imagine that Ridley killed Uncle Ben. Uh, Spider-Man would, would shoot web, web down his throat so much that he'd be like, oh. You get, actually. You, uh, so Ridley, imagine now that Ridley, he like, like makes a night out of killing hang, Uncle Ben, the Waynes, and Samus's parents. Uh. <laughs> Peter Parker gets bit by a radioactive Metroid. <laughs> And he just drains Ridley of his life force. Oh, damn. No, he's there him. Mm, dead ass. He melts. Dead ass. <laughs> damn, he's got show. both B and A to spare. Oh, yeah, this was before Ultimate, too, so we got Smash 4 footage. Yep, and those heels. 
Oh, and since this is also a tribute to Monty Ohm, she's going to be using that um that whip in her, her pistol as a lightsaber as a tribute to yeah, Hayloid. We'll, we'll see that. We'll we'll get to it. Let's talk about the animation when we actually get there. Also, I like Prime DS is here. That's a good uh, one. That game sucks. Boy. I do not agree. My boy. I do agree it was the worst of the Metroid games, but, like, that's... Worst the of the Metroid fair. games. Wait, that I is a that strong is thing to say when... Also, she is a bad oh, Metroid Prime. game. Worst of the Prime games. That's what I meant to say. Okay, I good. That, I know where that game. footage... Oh, yeah. I actually, guys, I actually know where that footage... Edge of Samus just firing missiles is from. Where is it from? Uh, Where? It's from the Brain Scratch playthrough of Metroid Fusion. <laughs> okay. Cool. There's just so you know, there's no such thing as a bad Prime game. Only a Prime game that's better or worse than the other. Uh, uh, what about a, is Other M technically a Prime game? No, it's no. hard. No. No, that's not a game. No, that's a no, device. it is not a Prime game. I'm. I don't, it's a I'm violation of the Geneva Conventions. <laughs> However, she often makes mistakes. Somehow, she like, always seems to lose all her power-ups and upgrades at the beginning of every mission. How has she not gotten a perk yet? Well, even <laughs> oh my God, same fucking joke. Doesn't guarantee its use. Same For joke, example, different delivery. Ah, oh, the rem. Ah, oh, the rem. God, they had such a good idea. Ah, oh, the rem. Activate, activate the various suit. suit! Why the fuck didn't you do that earlier, you stupid hoe? She's a bounty hunter! Why is she waiting for approval? I understand that he's her former commanding officer, but fuck, self-preservation comes first. I'm gonna keep my fucking super armor on all the time, you fucking idiot. I put it on my butt. Uh, Fuck you. It's so stupid. You know, I kind of feel like... I can't remember what... Because it feels like... Like Boba Fett would have seriously run afoul of Luke Skywalker if he'd been killing members of the new Jedi Order, you know? Yeah. <laughs> like oh, Luke go. Skywalker would have personally hunted him down... Oh, and, 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 like, before he even got there, he just would have force-choked his ass and just, like... Yeah. Like, yep. like you're not gonna do that yeah. again. If you do that again, yeah, then I'm gonna do to you what my father or would have done to you. Before he turned to the dark side. So this episode's very much based off Monty's style, and it's animated by Torian, if I remember correctly. Yeah, Torian. Yeah. And Torian was inspired by Monty, and that's how the way he animates... So this is very This fitting. is based off of Hayloid. Yeah, this is like yeah. this is like Ruby back when it was good. Yeah. Yes, back when yeah, and we back when we would get to see women throwing cars at each other. Oh, yeah. Uh. Oh, the flips yeah. and kicks from season 2 days. The flippy doos that that one anim <laughs> that one guy ended up not liking. There's too many flips! <laughs> and then we get this. Yeah, this was very much done because of Monty's style. Like, they oh, had man. to. And this actually fucking looks like her. Unlike yeah. Lara Croft and Nathan yeah, Drake. Oh, bad. high lightsaber! Uh, the, the ponytail, though. It's more of like a braid. Yeah, the ponytail's a little weird, but everything else is still good. Okay, it's a lightsaber now. See, look cool. at that. It, you know, it's not exactly canon, but fuck it, it looks fucking cool. Yeah, it, it's still cool as shit, I don't care. Oh, that's just cool, man, I love that. Where, where was... <laughs> You know, the fact that Death Battle is doing this kind of fight choreography and Disney couldn't pull off something like this with a multi-hundred million dollar franchise. Oh, I shattered! <laughs> and, mmm, that rack. Them hips, though. Mm. Yeah, as Kevin said, if they use a Dread... It wouldn't even be a contest. Uh, Samus would just Dragon Ball Z Bubble Fett into the void. <laughs> yep. 
Not only that, she would just be able to drain him of energy because of the Metroid, because uh, of the Metroid DNA. Yeah, pretty much. She's even commonly mistaken as a man by the very people who want to hire her, making it extremely difficult for to get a read on her. Yep, very true. Yeah. <laughs> now, as Kevin mentioned, there's a song sequence they added. We're gonna skip next time, but uh, I oh. Wanted, oh, I don't have it. Oh, it's on the video I have. But um, uh, there was a song sequence in the original dedicated to Monty yeah. Mong. I and remember that. They were copyrighted to hell and back on that so they had to mute it then years later rooster t bought the company or the song rights of that song and they still haven't unmuted the episode for uh, some godforsaken reason all right so uh Don, what are your thoughts on the episode i'd say you know it's a worthy death yeah. yes yeah absolutely i i have to agree on that like the first one however yeah it's a great it's a genuinely great tribute to Monty Mong. I, I feel like he would be oh, proud of this episode if he yeah. was still around. And I, I, I really do miss him, man. But this was this was a very nice tribute. So yeah, I do have to agree. A worthy death, absolutely. Let me just find the episode there. Let me just if, bring it up there for if my he was tier still list. alive, I assure you he would have at least been involved in like maybe one or two death yeah. battles. Oh, absolutely. I think he I think he actually asked Death Bow if they could do Ruby versus uh the protagonist of uh, what was it called red versus blue in my head no no it wasn't red versus blue it was oh what was it um it was one of the reapers um from bleach James, not bleach uh it was one with like the talking uh scythe it was one of the scythe it's uh, uh, it's on the left say it us left to your left ben yeah up yeah I it's know. above I'm knuckles trying. there there so we're on agreement. A worthy death. A worthy yeah. death. Oh yeah. Original. Worthy original death. is there we go. fine. All right. Next. Yeah. So the you said it was fine, Yami. So one, it was fine, and three, a worthy death. Is that right? Yep. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna shuffle this. One, two, three, four. Da, 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 da. All right. Let's do it. Let's see. Big money. Big money. Come on. Give me a good one. 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 Come Coaching on. Come on. Come on. Man. Spinning oh, it! here we go! <laughs> here we go! Here we go! Yahoo! No. Oh. Ah. oh wait! <laughs> she oh, Robert versus, versus Wonder, 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 Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. Oh, oh, this one sucks. Oh man! Shira, 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 Shira. This is the third the, death uh, battle Wonder Woman has been involved in, and this is her second <laughs> win. No, well, yeah, yeah, yeah you're right. Yeah. So <clears throat> it the is first against Thor. So, you know what the biggest yeah, problem that... with She-Ra and the Princesses of Power was? It's got nothing to do with the fact that the show sucks, the animation sucks, or anything like that. No, it sucks from the first note of the soundtrack. You can tell that the show is going to be terrible from the first note of the soundtrack because, guess what? It it doesn't have a melody you can follow. She rushed. Okay, the episode. So, before we, um, as, as this is starting, I want to mention a fact. Um, several years ago, um, Wonder Woman versus Four was going to be She Ra versus Wonder Woman. Do you want to know why they canceled it originally? Why? It was too one sided. <laughs> okay. Now, a few years okay, later, though. and they decided to do it. Oh, they were they running out of ideas? Oh, wow. I, I think so. <laughs> They're using the original She-Ra, not the... Um, Princesses yeah, of Power version. I don't think Princesses version. of Power was out by now. No, it was, no, out. It was out. Oh, it good. Was they purposely ignored it for the most part. I think they used, like, one or two clips. But yeah. That was it. She-Ra and the Princesses of Power is a fucking abomination to mankind. Remember Too the much... abusive trick they tried to make look good despite abusing her lover? Yes. I try not uh, to remember that. <laughs> yeah, the He-Man to... soundtracks were composed by Haim Saban, actually. He, Haim Saban and Shuki Levy, I believe. Even the two of them him did a damn good job of creating melodic soundtracks that stick in your head. 
Weight unknown. How is her weight unknown? She probably weighs about 100 pounds at most, I gotta say. <laughs> that yeah. size? Maybe, maybe 120. Dude, at least yeah. 200, of, 200 at most from all that height and muscle and titty. Uh, He-Man is like 250 at max. That, I would say at least the weight of the moon, considering that she can push it, I think. <laughs> Oh my god! Smash. <laughs> Let's try not to be horny, guys. Let's try not to be. No, I have a. But that was the entire horny. reason I watched the show back in the day. <laughs> you watched Death Battle to be horny? She Ra, Ben. She Ra. Oh! I completely misunderstood you. Yeah! Fuck, of course you did this. Oh Why the okay, fuck would I watch this Death Battle? Okay. <laughs> okay. This is actually... Oh my god. This is, first... this is our first episode with the animated statements. Yep. <laughs> oh yeah, I think that was a uh, shot from the He-Man She-Ra DC comics back in the day. Those were yep. really fucking good. Skeletor was, was actually quite the pragmatist. The, int the the opening arc was really fucking good because you like you see how the heroes are like where they are come oh the start God. of the <laughs> uh, uh, Shira why didn't you just use a uh, Oh, this is taking out from Silver Age Superman, and, and, well, there's a reason everybody tries to forget about that. <laughs> this is taking off from Silver Age Superman, and there's a reason everybody tries to forget about that. <laughs> my, I took a walk around the world to ease my troubled mind. I let my body lie in somewhere in the sand of time. Stop singing, please. You know what, though? The reboot of Shiro could have had had a lot of potential. It's just... The reboot of He-Man had a lot of potential. Yeah, both had a lot of potential. At least He-Man had decent animation. I say the He-Man yeah. one failed harder because the poster, the trailers, everything... Yeah, Kevin Smith. Yeah. Kevin Smith. Yeah. Kevin oh, Smith. yeah, because, oh, like, the, the CalArt <laughs> style... <laughs> The Cal art style for She-Ra and the Princess of Power meant that everybody's yeah, expectations were rock bottom. And then along and came He-Man, and it was... Uh, and that should dictate that She-Ra literally oh is far stronger than Wonder Woman. Yeah. Why, why do you need a hang glider on a fucking Pegasus? Didn't Wonder Woman at one time help Superman lift the Earth out of orbit? Yes. She yes. helped him. Note that she helped him. She didn't carry the, the whole fucking. Thing. Why are there SWAT bots from Sonic the Hedgehog? I don't question it. What You're works for my sister works Wonder for Woman me, stronger, says he, man. Uh, it's mostly because she's Not able to tank with Superman. Welcome to Themyscira. Holding open a bar. Holding some of uh, helping of uh, helping someone move the planet is still moving the damn planet. Yeah, yes, it's but still here's the thing: the she wasn't. She didn't carry the full thing. If you're she still did the whole thing, the then, yeah. part of You're it. still carrying a big ass chunk of rock with a lot of water, a lot of yeah. people, and a lot of forestry. That you're still carrying one third of the planet. Why are you? The island, the island of Themyscira. Uh, no women, no children. Then along came Zeus. He hurled his thunder cock. <laughs> <laughs> right up, Hippolytus! <laughs> oh, I've been advised not to finish this sentence. Oh, yeah, awesome. <laughs> I'm, I'm convinced that Wonder Woman's oh. mom loves watching Dodgeball the movie. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a dodgeball. She took it to the next level. You can dodge an arrow, you can dodge a firearm. Oh, goody! Footage from the worst animated Wonder Woman movie! Nobody likes that film. Bloodlines is trash. Yeah. Bloodlines oh. is really bad. Well, at least Death of Superman was good. Two thousand. One, one Superman. And, 
at least 2,000 years ago, she's literally stated to be 5,000 years old. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait, Zack Snyder's Justice League wasn't out by this point. Yeah, it wasn't. Oh, God. Oh, boy, that version of Wonder Woman made the internet. <laughs> gave the internet Won feelings, all right? Wonder Lolly. <laughs> yes, exactly. You Wonder need to Wonder see that episode of Justice League Unlimited, Alex. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it was Justice League Unlimited. <laughs> oh, oh, boy! Oh. 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 Invisible plane! Invisible plane! Nobody... Yeah, I was gonna say, the invisible plane is fucking dumb. It's so dumb. They just... They just want to make... They wanted to make it so she could fly without making her fly, but, you know, if, if you want to make her fly, make her fly. She shouldn't be able to fly, though. I mean, it's good to have options. Why is she fucking tired? Sharp enough to split an atom yeah, in two. she split an atom. Can we talk about that? Oh, the Wonder Woman Superman romance is stupid. Oh god, that, was, is. that is the weird pairing I've ever heard and seen in DC Comics. Wonder Woman and Batman is alright. Wonder Woman and Superman's just, like... I uh... get it, it's on paper it sounds good, but I just don't see it happening at all for any reason whatsoever. I get why Frank Miller likes that pairing, you know. Oh, it, it makes more sense to him because, you know, they're epic heroes. Because it makes more sense for epic heroes to have epic romance with each other rather than, you know, yeah. random people. But Yeah, but again, that's just an on-paper thing. In execution. Dro and, and... Uh, dropping off the bracelets is so fucking dumb. That's not how that works. She's not Shadow the fucking Hedgehog. <laughs> that's some Dragon Ball Z shit. Shadow the Wonder Woman. <laughs> uh -huh. Immortality doesn't mean much when you still bleed. Shadow Woman. Tell me, Wonder Shadow. do you bleed? I'm yes, at now. least once a month. <laughs> Plastic man. So, so, uh, Gizmo. Oh. Yeah. If you don't like the the Superman Wonder Woman pairing, what do you think about a Captain America Wonder Woman pairing? Uh, I think it, I yeah. think that one were, if 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 either were canon in either of their universes, not counting the Marvel versus DC events, I think it could work. But boy, do I have a story for you? Can we talk about yep. how she beat Reverse Flash while blind? I'd like to not think about that yeah, if I can help this, it, but, you know. This, listen to this. Oh, yep, there it is. <laughs> yeah, part of the plan DC Comics, everybody's fun. stupid fucking powerful. And, yeah. <laughs> I mean, Marvel too. Yeah, it's the Marvel to an extent, but DC's more ridiculous. It's more just comics in general. Anime may have the stupid powers, but comic books, you know, they got the stupid power levels. Why does oh. Batman have a box for Wonder Woman when she when he has no plan for her? <laughs> That's because okay, he's so hoping to... It's like, um... It's like... Uh, Power Girl's boob window. He's leaving the space open so he can put something there later. Now, there's a, <laughs> there's a misconception that Wonder Woman doesn't have a physical weakness. Actually, she does. Uh, that's two, from what I remember. It's bondage, yeah. it's an actual weakness, look it up, and, yeah. uh, oh, pier God, and, pier that. and piercing weapons. Yeah, yeah if you I tied her wrists so. together back in the day and in the Super Friends comic, you could, um... You could negate her super strength and all it's the rest still, of her powers. Yeah, it's That's still so a canon stupid, weakness though. to this day, too. Why are they right, using her the injustice animation. design? Probably That's because hard. that was the only video game model available to injustice them. I don't know. Was yeah. out. It looks fine. It's fine. It has better texture work than the injustice one, I'd say. They, to be fair, I, it also I do matches like well with Shiraz model. Yeah. I do like the cell shaded look. Yeah, I like the cell shade look. I'm biased towards. I hate the pants. 
Yeah. Like there was a Wonder Woman. Does anybody remember the Wonder Woman pilot from a few no. years ago? It was a tw like a 2011 Wonder Woman pilot for a TV show that never got made. And another thing. I don't remember. And and pants on an Amazon is kind of something that Cassie Sandsmark had. Mm -hmm. That's a cool shot. I like that shot. I think a Wonder Woman with pants only makes sense if it were, say, uh, a legacy, a legacy character trying to live up to her name, or if it's like a Wonder, yeah. a Wonder yeah. Girl character. Yeah, I agree. I just that, don't that see Diana. I see Diana wearing pants maybe outside the, of her Wonder yeah, Woman the, identity, but oh. not in her Wonder Woman costume. Like, I grew up with her in the leotard, and I kind of prefer her oh. with the with the battle skirt. Oh, she's on the visible plane! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's dead! <laughs> 10 out of 10. <laughs> oh, that's cool, though. Like, there's some cool stuff here. Too bad Ruby can't oh. have a choreographed fight like this. Oh, Not anymore. Yeah, yeah exactly. The, the, yeah, the, it's good. Like, it has such sense of speed. Oh. Now, see, if she rock could cut through the bracelets like that, <coughs> she should have been able to take out the sword. She, she didn't cut bum, the bracelets. Bum, 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 she bum, she bum, battered bum, them until they bum, were bum. destroyed. That's the difference. Yeah, she shattered them. With brute force. Okay, if the brute sword point. is dead, she should be dead. Ooh. If w the yeah, moment that's... the sword broke, she should have transformed back into um Adora. Adora. To be fair, to be fair, they probably didn't have the model for it. No. Right. Let's they... see what the results. <clears throat> oh, you're right, Kevin. Honestly, this could have been a lot worse. We'll, we'll talk about the ranking. Let's watch yeah. the TV. Yeah, but then again, Wonder Woman had <clears throat> taken on people like Superman and one. Mm -hmm. And Dark Side as well. She's also He's taken on uh, Amazo. Yeah. yeah, that's a tough opponent to go up against one on one. So, Alex, Don't how did you feel about that skit I, um, I shared to you? <laughs> I took a brief look at it this morning before work, but I didn't have a chance to really absorb any of it. Uh, it looked pretty good, but I'll have to go back and look. Excuse me again. God, I hate, hate, hate the new 52 designs. <laughs> be thankful the DCAMU yeah, went, went yeah. ended up... Be Some thankful, Alex, that the DCAMU ended up angling toward, towards the Rebirth design designs later on. Yeah. So, a little fun fact, uh, well, a little um, uh, depressing fact... They were planning on doing a Justice League and Transformers crossover comic. You'll even find the promo art for it. Like, you'll see the Batmobile as a Transformer. Look at this. The, hang on. Look hey, at the Gizmo. Yo. Look at what her There's speed. a funny, sto funny story. Funny thing you should mention that. <laughs> look, at, look, look at how fast she's going. She's fast. Oh, wait, not that. No, she's not that, uh, she's not that purple Wonder Woman cover. Damn, like, how fast can she be? Obviously not as fast as Superman or the Flash. Oh, yeah, the Superman and the Flash are far faster, which makes it crazier to think about. And more than quick enough to stick that magic sword right where it really hurts. Shira's amazing strength and versatility may have kept the Amazon running, but Diana's skill, arsenal, and incredible speed tip the scales enough for a victory. It's no wonder she ran out of time. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, Could have been worse. All right, so done, uh, done. How would you rank this? Uh, it was fine. I yeah. Worse, because this was the worst Wonder Woman death battle.
No, I still feel like Thor's one is the worst one. At no. least, I think at least Thor's true. one had it actual was fine. scope. It was fine. Um, done. How, how do you feel, done? All right. So I'll say, you know what? That was pretty damn good. It it there were some issues, I'd say, but I'll put it at pretty damn good because it's got a decent enough uh strength to it that, that you know it's entertaining to watch and i'd go back and watch it again yeah i, I have to agree because there's just this sense of speed that's not really found in a lot of death battles like they were going out like they were going back and forth like that's really yeah. fun it's not, i like it's to see perfect. stuff like this two two warrior princesses yeah. is hammering it out yeah, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I'd say it was pretty damn good too. It's not the best episode, but it's entertaining. It's one that I would go back to willingly and happily. Yep. So we got two pretty damn goods. One, uh, one that was fine. Uh, Yami, how would you rank it? Are you there, Yami? Gizmo. Oh, me. Gizmo. Oh, okay. Uh, Sorry. Oh, uh, man. Uh, I say it was fine. I, I could have, like, yeah, it could have been worse, but yeah, I think it was, I think it's a little better than that. I think it was, like, fine enough for me to, like, maybe so, go back once or twice. So, where should we put it? We either put it was fine or pretty damn good. How do we feel together? I feel like it was fine. And the, it should be in the, it was fine. It's good enough, but it's not, but it's also not. Because we Not have two was fines and two pretty damn goods. I'm willing to put it was fine. Uh, do you want to fight it done, or do you want to put it there? I honestly think Thor versus Wonder Woman was a tad better just for the scope. The character mm. writing in that one sucks. Diddly oh, yuck. Oh, yeah. But I at the like very the least, writing... it had, had scope. Mm. How do you feel done? Where should we put in the Methley tier? Alex? Alex. Alex! Alex! Oh, no, 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 Sorry, no. I was having no, to deal no. with uh, dog things. Nah, you're live, so live you're stream copyright to notice. Due to a copyright match, your stream was interrupted. Hey, hang the fuck what? on. <laughs> I'll give him a moment. Well, yeah. Gotta be oh, starting yeah. something. Video was removed. Gotta be starting yeah, um... something. Uh, done, done. So, what should we put on the Methley tier list? It was fine or pretty damn good? Uh, Kevin it, and it, Yemi say it was fine. Somewhere, pretty damn good. we could put, we could put it, it's like half and half, we could put it between the two tiers. There's, uh, now yeah. I have to deal with this bullshit. Give me a second yep. here. Uh, this video has been removed yep. for violating YouTube's policy on spam, deceptive practices, and scams. Okay, that doesn't sound right. That's fucking retarded. <laughs> Go to hell. Not spam, <laughs> it's not deceptive, and there's no scam behind it. This is a tier list video. Spam, deceptive yeah. practices, and scams policy. Is there streaming on? Is our stream down? Yes, yes it yep. is. It's oh, because it's your down. first strike. This is just a warning. If it happens again, then your channel will get a strike. Okay, hey, we're getting a warning, not a strike, so... Yeah, oh, okay, um, begin strike. review. That's bullshit. What? That's bullshit! We barely started! Your video has been removed. Found something that may violate Ain't YouTube's policies. No, don't remove the video! Oh, we that was review. a good video. Policy violated, spam, deceptive practices, and scams. I want to appeal. Oh, I want yeah, to leave I a comment. I think we can start the stream again. I still think we could do a video list without it, but if about? you guys think it, uh, it adds to the stream, I'm, I'm fine with that too. No, no, Me? I'll, and I'll, my? You know, I'll, I'll, here's what I'll do, I'll, I won't Friends? show the tier list, but I'll show the, um, to the, the wheel. Internet yeah, series. Yeah, what the fuck? Damn it, we were having such ba a good time. Battle. Because and these are ranking good talking. every episode, as um, stated in the... I'm gonna get a snack, I'll be right back. Title and no, no, I got an, uh, description. Done. When you're done, I got an idea. Can we record it as long as well I'm, as streaming? I'm still yeah. recording. I am still recording. Okay, good. <clears throat> we can go live again if we want. As stated in the title and description. Okay. So we can there go live again if we want are, to. No. I give a little button. For... Hold on. Let me keep... Let me talk. There I'll are be right no... Back. <laughs> the... 
video is not spam as there is no commercial content being promoted. It is not a scam. How would it be? And there are no deceptive practices involved as the video is literally exactly what we said it was. Why was this stream interrupted and taken and taken down for something that could not possibly be interpreted from it by any reasonable human being on the face of this planet. <laughs> there, I think that's how I how I'm gonna yeah, submit it. I would copy and say, I would copy that. Did you know most creators it. never get a second strike? Fuck you! Fuck you, YouTube! I had a second strike on my fucking second channel! Third channel, technically, but still. Like, come the fuck on! What fuck you! Fuck? No creator! Most creators never get a second strike! Go to hell! You had I, me! I, I, I had two strikes I, on Ultimation for two fucking six... Three months, I think it was. I had to wait what? that out before I could upload another video, or you guys are gonna delete my fucking channel. Yikes. Fuck you! you know what Wait, did, they was... us, did they give us a second strike? No, they no, they just say, thanks for your review. Did you know that most creators never get a second strike? Check out our community guidelines yeah, anytime you're unsure about posting yeah, content. Fuck off. Fuck off. What the hell do yeah, you think this is? Good. We're it's just four fucking dudes watching Death Battle. What the hell do you think Yo, this shit right. is? All right. I'm watching as right. well oh, as rating and talking about it. They're acting like this is a full-length feature like movie. Yeah, should we, uh, should we go live again, or should Ooh, we just keep shut the fuck up! The rest? You're a done, done, fucking done, done, cunt! Done, done, done. Should we, should we go live again, or should we just record and upload uh, the rest later? Well, okay, so we're still recording. Yes. <laughs> uh, let's see here. <laughs> no should one gives a shit about or your pronouns. Change my mind! <laughs> Okay, so what should we do? Are we gonna keep recording and not stream, or are we gonna attempt to stream again, despite? Uh, the we're just gonna keep recording and uh, and re-upload. Yeah, All we'll right. re-upload the whole thing, and we'll keep in this funny error. Unless yeah. you wanna just magically edit out the part where we get striked. Nah, nah. I wanna leave in the part where I'm raging at YouTube for being a lying fucking bitch. Fuck hey. it. We'll do it. All. Anyway, spin the wheel. Right. Wheel of morality. Spin turn, turn, wheel. turn. Show us the lesson. We no. should learn. Damn. And we are at over an hour, so I think this should be the last one we do for the night. No! Akuma oh, versus Shao Kahn. That one rocks. Oh, one rocks. <laughs> no. Oh, boy. oh, no. We no. can the night on a bad episode. <laughs> oh, man. Another lo another episode with, no with lost potential. Uh. Oh, this one... Uh, uh, the dread, the dread. Okay, I'm actually, start no, I take that back. It never, I take that back. It never had a potential in the first place. People keep no, keep... I disagree with that. No, I disagree with that. No, here's All the right, thing, though. Start it. Here's the thing. People you, keep forgetting you, you, Akuma was never an official boss. He was always and always has been a hidden boss and a hidden character. Bosses like uh, Bison, Seth, uh, Gil. Those are Street Fighter bosses. If you want to fight Akuma I mean, I in did, arcade, I, if you want to fight Akuma in arcade mode, he's a secret character that you can only fight if you pull off a certain number of events, whether it be uh, perfecting all matches, perfecting a certain amount of matches, or perfecting one match, or or or, or anything else for that matter. When if it if it has to do with a perfect match, Akuma is a villainous character, sure. But he's never, ever been 
what you would call a final boss character. Hidden yeah, boss? Sure. He a jumps boss, out sure. by Sten. Yeah, he's not a final boss character. There's a reason why he's point. always on the mockable. I do want to say, honestly, I think Scorpion would have been a better matchup. I don't mind this one either. I think this is a pretty decent one. Hey, remember like that time when Akuma was in Tekken? Oh, yeah, I remember that. Well, no. Who had to get down on who to get that to happen? <laughs> Street Fire X, a uh, Street uh, Tekken X Street Fire, which no longer exists. I think of anything on Kuma versus. I'm Akuma. sorry, I'm I'm just pissed off at this, but this is also why I have so many YouTube channels. <laughs> Yeah, that was, uh, don't worry, we'll get that cleared up. Uh, Fearless is something I've wanted to do on streams uh, somewhere in the near future, but oh, nice got. Death Battle 1 is also on my list, so if I ever get yeah. get the chance, I'll invite you guys. A uh, Karate Kid, who broke the rules, he wasn't supposed to kick him in the head, <laughs> he still won! Fight me! Well, I mean, killing your master would do that. Yeah. That's common sense. Hadouken. It certainly doesn't Hadouken. look like teleporting, but it's called that. <laughs> Yeah. Can we just get Akuma versus Kempachi, and I mean a proper one? Yeah. <laughs> not that, not that one minute melee BS. No, it, it's a coin flip. You have, I mean, eh. what the fuck? What? 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 <laughs> That's lube. What? Why is it lube? Is this is this the production of the Hero Gasm episode? Gee, it's almost like Capcom's films universes are interconnected. Oh my god! They are. Comparing the blast size to Earth's diameter, this explosion must have a yield of over 120 teratons. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Same kind of thing. No wonder the only guys who can match him are badasses like Goken. Akuma would challenge Goken again and again, determined to prove his version of the Unsatsuken was superior. And apparently, he was right. As he defeated Goken with his signature technique, the Shun Goku Satsu. Raging Demon. With yep. This, yep. Akuma gives in to his killing he has that move in every game he's ever been in. Even yeah, Tekken. It's that iconic. <laughs> Except Street Fighter 2, technically, but. I don't know, he actually used it. Never mind, I'm an idiot. Fuck that character. Oh my god! He must worship the fighting gods. Yeah. The fighting gods that are Daigo and Maximilian Dude. <laughs> Street Fighter V's design, by the way, is trash. I do not like that design. I like the Lion main thing on that Akuma has got. Why did she befriend Akuma? It's Elena. Back up online? You're, you're here, yeah. Okay, cool. Ah, Shin Akuma is such a such an asshole. Hey, Alex. I still got PTSD from Capcom versus SNK2. Alex? Yeah? You want to know what I imagine for our scenario since we did have Street Fighter guys in there? Yeah. 
The climax being Guile versus M Bite Ison inside the facility as it's blowing up. Meanwhile, Ryu gets a one on one with Akuma, <laughs> uh, who was looking for a fight. And he's like, oh, there there's going to be a fight tonight. So basically, we got two big fights that take place in a self destructing building. Uh, you know, I gotta be honest, I thought Omni, Omni was uh, Oni. a different character. Oni. Oni. I originally it's thought Oni. this was a completely different character. Ben, no. Fran would would Fran would tear you in half for that pronunciation. Yeah, I was I'm stupid. Bro, look at him. You really think that's not Akuma? Oh nice, he's a Naruto character now. Uh... Oh, I guess that means he beats Aizen. No. Fuck that <laughs> bullshit. If we ever get to doing Madara versus Aizen, I will point out will. everything wrong with that battle. <laughs> ah, fly just flew into my eye. It burns. Green blood was always kind of put me off when they did that. I still don't like his Street Fighter Five design. Why does he have long hair? He's human. Nah, that's a good point. <laughs> Welcome to Outworld. Pop with open bar. Open bar. You've never seen Loop on the Third Abridged. Original nope. announcer for Mortal Kombat. <laughs> yeah. Addicted funnily enough, opponents. funnily enough, hey, Shao Kahn and Balrog and Mortal, uh, as of Mortal Kombat 9, shared the same voice actor. Huh. Neat. Bob Carter. Huh. <sighs> oh, you have to do Sundale dirty. Uh... Fuck you. Fuck Mortal That's Kombat awful. 11. Even the uh, episode Death Battle had with Selena took a dig at that a little bit. Ooh! Raiden, how did you not see him coming? <laughs> Suddenly, Shao Kahn is featured in the next Magic Mike movie. I guess Shao Kahn must be a phantom thief because he did not see that entire event coming. Alex... Yeah. How do you feel about them using footage from the worst animated Mortal Kombat movie? <sighs> oh boy. No. Uh, isn't it, just isn't no. it the only animated movie? No, there are three no. now. Yeah. Uh, Someone leaked the last one, the most recent one. All right. There's three already? What the fuck? Okay. Where can you go from there? I don't fucking know. Maybe they explore uh, Earthworm a little more? No, it's a Kenshi story. Oh, right, the Kenshi one. Who wouldn't want to steal Earth? We suck. I mean... <laughs> what the hell? I'm gonna stop there so we don't get stewed. <laughs> Damn, he's ripped. Yeah. Yeah, everybody in Mortal Kombat 9 is ripped. Even the ladies. Oh yeah. damn! Yes. Not even and the I'm women are and I'm just safe. I'm just looking at the midriffs, be like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. girl abs, man. Ugh. Their faces I could do without. Uh, I like their faces. No, the facial models. Yeah, I think the facial models are fine. In the PS3 days? No. Oh yeah. Ugh. Dude, have you seen Katana's face in, in Mortal Kombat 9? It looks cute. No, it doesn't. Not do. Looks a little too manly. I don't see no man. I see uh, I see the built of a tomboy girl in princess outfit. You know, I have to <sighs> say, the one thing I can't get, forgive Mortal Kombat 11 for is retconning the Mortal Kombat 10 comics. Because those were good. No, they weren't. Yes, they were. No. Yes. Go, go, go what the fuck handle this? Now's your chance to be a big shot. Be a big, be a big, be a big shot. Uh. 
Be a big shut the fuck up more like it. Now's your chance to be a big shut. Oh, and, uh, oh, and of course, in Mortal Kombat 11, Shao Kahn in that game was voiced by the same, same guy who um, voiced he's, he's Atrocitus in Injustice 2. Because at that point, they were getting lit very lazy. And we still have the worst casting in that game imaginable. Hmm. It's a simple old casting known as Ronda Rousey as Sonya Blade. I think it would have been great if they used her only in the, the mocap. Yeah, only in the mocap that would have been yeah. fine. Maybe the facial models if they ever if they ever decided to pull through and the mocap and facial model that's fine. Yeah, but her voice acting it was a little off. She's she fucking sucks as an actress. She always has. She's good as a wrestler. Oh, and they turned yeah. Shao, oh, they turned Shao Kahn and MK11 into Donald Trump. No, <laughs> time to make out world, world great, great again. again. <laughs> yes, Ed Boon, we get it. Orange Man bad. Move on. Lord Man uh, dab. Speaking of moving on, here comes one of the worst 3D animated fights they've ever done. Oh, yay. Great way to close out the first episode of this, of this we series. We can't close out on this. We can't. Okay, we yeah, really we have to can. do one more. We have to. If we get one more bad one, I'm going to cry. If we get Madara versus Aizen, I'm going to be the most vocal about it. I hope we get Homelander versus Omni, man. I hope we get oh, this is so painfully Omni. stiff. Look at how this. Look at this shit. It's, uh, there is no not, impact. It's not just stiff. It's floaty as hell. It's not even just floaty. It's just unfinished. It's unpolished. This and looks like this was a good idea. This looks like temp animation. Oof. Like, if, if you've ever seen the test footage for uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League, like the previs footage, it looks kind of like that. Yeah, it does, you're right. <sighs> oh, at least, at least there's no debate in between us with, and it's where this stands. Hmm. Yeah, it's pretty instant. Is that your best? Uh, uh, they couldn't even get a good Shao Kahn impersonator. Uh, now that's, oh, that's also. A decent, that's a good shot. Oh, that effect was bad. Oh, yeah. that's bad. They drew lines over a skull. That's it. Yeah, and you could tell. <laughs> also, the Akuma voice actor doesn't even try to impersonate Dave Mallow. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's just... It looks like the Hulk. <laughs> Those punches, man. They're... Ugh. they're what is that? Yeah, they're not good. It's a good thing oh, that he's night, not... It's night time! Oh, it's night for no reason! I'm just glad Shao Kahn... This is a Michael Bay movie. Well, it is taking place in the same fucking desert that they, uh... That they shot the climax of Revenge of the uh, Fallen in. God, this is... Um... Oh, okay. Oh, the kanji looks so bad. Kanji looks really weird. Yeah. How do you make the Raging Demon it's supposed look bad? To be... It's supposed to be die 1,000 deaths. Um. God, that was underwhelming. This was they lame. It would have been cool if it was animated well, but it is not This was fucking well. lame. I don't result. care about I the results. I mean, we have to watch the whole thing. We have to. <laughs> I don't care about the fucking results. This is irrelevant. It doesn't matter. I mean, the rest of the death battle was episode. terrible. Yeah, I agree. It's the worst one. Like, 
I Football. agree with oh. the result and the research, but the animation <sighs> alone makes it the worst episode uh, we have watched so far. Even worse than Laura Croft versus Nathan Drake, because there is at least yeah. a few good animated bits, bits in that one. Even with how bad it was. Yeah, this is this, this is, is really fucking stiff. It's it's unfinished. It's like there was a deadline that they just couldn't meet and they had to release it just it's, it's I don't sad, know what happened and I'm still this, reminded yeah. of the fact that Mortal Kombat had had the best voice acting in MK9. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The best costumes are in MK9. Yeah. Yep. And you know, the thing is, even Ronda Rousey wears outfits that bear the midriff if when fighting because mm -hmm. she's Excuse not me? because, you know, she's a fighter. Yeah. More than enough sin in his time for him to totally murder his soul. There was always a possibility that Akuma would get a lucky hit in with <laughs> Girls wouldn't show skin in a fight like that to the death. Said people who never played games ever in middle People who have never movie. actually been in a fucking fight or watched a UFC match. Or never seen any 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 entertainment that you know caters to their own fucking issues. Yeah. God, the animation. Oh, there was so much oh. potential to be cool, but they the, they dropped the ball. The ball has been dropped. Hey, Fraser. Hey, Death Battle. I think you guys dropped the ball. Dropped the think, ball. Speaking of which, I think right. there's no debate. There's just no debate on this. It's absolute failure way i would say absolute actually is like is liable to voice is is likely voicing trunks in the upcoming death battle based on the i think ache i saw yeah. who yeah um i've okay. seen the preview and yeah it's definitely him he sounds we'll we'll, we'll talk about that episode when it comes out i'm gonna say worse than uh laura croft versus yeah Drake. yeah that's that's yeah i gotta worse. gotta agree we okay. Gotta, we gotta spin the wheel one more time before we end this. So we're yeah. going we to go. It, we. Oh, I'm moving the wrong one. Shit. Uh, yeah. where's, where's the shotgun? Right, I'm, you right next right to now, it. You it. move go back up, up back up, right back up. Right next. You to do realize you can room. use the so right up up upper right up to the right. There you go. There you go. There there you, go. Right, you know right. you can. You know there what right. you can do. You can just use your uh, scroll wheel. And scroll right. up while holding it down. Right, right. Oh, duh. Okay. Uh, I'm going to shuffle, and here we go. Wheel Barali. Turn, turn, one. turn. Let's Show us the lesson. We night. should Let learn. Let's end this on something good. Come on. Son of a bitch! Oh. <laughs> Spin again! <laughs> we almost got a good one, too. Damn it. Oh, come on. Yes. Yes, this is a good oh, one. Oh, okay. That's a, good one. that's a very good one. All right, let's well, get it. I haven't seen this seven. episode. Oh, good. It's basically, good basically Dark Stalkers versus Killer Instinct. Okay. Don't spoil too. the results. Yeah, it's it's a good episode. There's only only one complaint I have, but I understand it. We'll we'll get to it. All right. When you're tell me when you're all when, tell me when you're blah, in. Blah, blah, blah. I'm, I'm still watching. Done, are you in? Yeah, I'm in. All right, you're in. All right. Gizmo. This is their um. This is their first Halloween episode, surprisingly. Huh. Like their actual Halloween theme. That makes sense. Sir Thomas Brown once said, "Every man is his own greatest enemy, and as it were, his own execution." True. For many, every day is a struggle to restrain the beast within, or else it might turn into a big old honking werewolf, such as <laughs> the savage wolfman of Killer Instinct. John Talbane, the Kung Fu canine dark stalker. He's with You know, for years I thought his name was John Talbane. Yeah. <laughs> I still haven't played Dark Stalker. John? But since I, since I have the Capcom John... fighting game stuff, up, I might give it a try. John yeah. Taliban. I don't know, a good vacation spot. Hails from a family Chad. of monster hunters. Oh, the irony. Man, he looks like a Chad. He stumbled onto a treasure trove of monster hunting weapons and relics straight out of his family's secret history, including a mysterious large claw, which he accidentally cut himself on. Of course, as you do. 
The Baron transformed into a vampire. N no, a werewolf. This is a werewolf episode. Come on, Wiz. Movie <laughs> castle in the middle of nowhere. Next year they would do Dio versus Alphard. <laughs> totally a vampire backstory. No, that's for next year. <laughs> on this <laughs> night, Baron. Yeah, they teased that episode here. Yeah, his name is actually Cyberwolf. That's his last name in universe. Yeah. 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 So any one of his cuts can potentially pass his curse to new victims. And he's pretty happy using those claws to brutally rush down any foe. With a howl to the sky, Sablewolf can amp himself up or tap into his killer instinct to enter a feral realm. Am I still connected? I just want to make sure. Yeah, we're good. Yep. Okay, good, good. As he truly becomes a mindless monster. It also increases his chip damage and allows him to cancel auto doubles into other auto. Yeah, yeah, it makes him even more stronger and faster. We get it. And to top it off, he can summon... Bats that are on fire. <laughs> gotta be honest, not sure where this one comes from. He's a vampire in a fur suit. But vampires are wake to fire. <laughs> we don't question it. Yeah, he wasn't exactly a fan of the whole werewolf thing, so he did. Oh shit! Summoning Salt had a had an issue with one of their videos being age restricted. Oof. Yeah. Ultra Tech, Evil Walmart. It's true. It's true. <sighs> yeah, I work at Walmart. Yeah. Ultra, it's true. Ultra Tech, a division of Vaud Industries. By the way, Alex and Ben. Yeah. So. <sighs> So part of me, he had, had like an idea uh, in response to Omni Man versus is um, Homelander, or which was basically having having a, like a scenario uh, where Invincible and Adam Eve help with that plane and, cr and crash that uh, that uh, Homelander ends up causing. Mm. We can we can talk about it more after the stream video we're not yeah. really streaming anymore sadly but hell they 17 to 0 win streak god damn the metallic super soldier fulgore and an actual dinosaur he's certainly among a high tier of the company yeah it's too bad riptor couldn't win his battle against yoshi yeah. uh -huh. man they have to they have to redo a lot of their all of their episodes and not just one yeah Somehow the remaster of Mario vs. Sonic changed the outcome. That I makes agree sense. with the outcome, honestly, but it's definitely different now than it is then. Again, as per usual with uh, new series and games. Man, how they do their research. God damn! <laughs> While the loss in strength and agility is negligible. And he proved it in his rematch with Glacius. Who's the clapper of cheeks now, you projectile spamming snow cone? Whom, according to an official novella, can react within a nanosecond. Holy crap, he's not just your average werewolf, he's a super werewolf. A fighting tournament ass kicker. Though he will sadly always be on the hunt for a cure that doesn't exist, Saberwolf is one of the most dangerous monsters and men to ever live. It's time being a werewolf. All you gotta do is look for a girl that likes to put on dog ears. <laughs> now for Capcom lore. <laughs> then Saberwolf can truly give some girls the knot. Keep in mind, these... Keep in mind. This is all connected to Street Fighter, Resident Evil, Devil May Cry, I, and Mega Man, hmm. among Final several fight. other things. Final Fight. It's also had an official yeah. Street Fighter versus uh, Dark Stalkers comic crossover. By Udon. The comic was pretty good, too. 
B ranked yeah. Dark Stalker. Yeah. <laughs> Jetta, who only who had the who was who only had the decent who had the only decent performance in Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. Very true. Seriously, you give a listen to David Kay's performance at as Jetta. It's amazing. Rock, Rocket Raccoon sounded really weird. Well, that's because they switched from British to New York. British? I'm gonna drink. Ain't nobody Marshall like me werewolf. except for me. Bushido and Zen Buddhism, Shotokan Karate's focus is on controlled calm, a strong defense, and a rejection of unnecessary violence. Basically the exact opposite of being a werewolf. Well, sign me up for his doggy dojo, because I have no idea... That animation for that, from that OVA is really good. Yeah. Well, it's out. Well, it's... Well, Disco Tech put it on Blu-ray. Yeah. This dude's just showing up. Still waiting on the Digimon Blu-ray. It's coming in December. Mm -hmm. Is it already on pre-order? Ah, uh, that's a good question. Can we talk about how he's doing a Sonic here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Dragon Ball now. Yep. That's badass. Yep. His razor sharp claws can slice through steel and even punch holes in powerful dark stalkers like Lilith. He's also got those great doggo senses like What the fuck is that cartoon? To demonstrate, I've modulated dummy senses up to the same degree as those of a It's the I see you find my frequent humiliation amusing. Oh, it's It's dummy. <laughs> it's our first appearance of dummy on this channel. Somebody's outside stealing your dune buggy. Uh, dummy. That was great. I'm back. Welcome back. You missed a good joke. Oh, was the one where uh, dummy has got the a wook face. <laughs> Jan, you got me. I can't believe they referenced that. Also, it's worth mentioning that Dark Stalker society is broken up into different classes based on the strength and power of the individual. Oh, I thought that was like a tier list joke. That's actually nope. serious. Nope, that's an actual uh, class. Like Anakari, who sank all of ancient Egypt underground. Or QB, who could lift a massive beehive height above this castle. Based on its size relative to the castle, this hive would have to weigh over... She's one of my favorite cards in the, uh... SNK vs. Capcom Card Fighters DS game. Hmm. True. Didn't she take a massive L to Taokaka? Yep. Yes. Which makes sense. Blue, Blaze Blue is ridiculous. But then again, Screw Attack has... Alright, Death Battle has made it no secret that they have a blatant bias against the plot of that. To the point where they yeah, don't they even do know like... what the name of the currency of Blaze Blue is, when all you have to do is Google search it. To be fair, I think that was more of a joke, but... Yeah. It was a bad joke. Mm. Over his monstrous identity and committed himself to a life of compassion. 
But John will always be a dark stalker. If he relapses, he'll be as deadly as ever. There will always be a monster inside of him, just waiting to be let loose. Existence with humans is impossible. That is why we are called the Dark Stalkers. He said the thing! He said the thing! I loved it when um, John said it's Morbin time and morbed all over those guys. <laughs> that was amazing! I can't wait for the Darkstalkers vs. Morbius video game coming out tomorrow. Darkstalkers vs. Spider-Man villains. I have no forgiveness left. Now the spray for... Daber Wolf is a little weird, but I forgive it because the animation is kind of awesome, which we'll see in a bit. Well, now, anyways. This is actually pretty good. Yeah, it gets better as it goes. <laughs> this music's awesome, too. It's metal. Yeah, this was when... Um... When Death Battle started to do, like, motifs that combine the themes of the two combatants. Yeah, the, uh, Brandon Yates does a phenomenal job with that. He has a whole channel of um, doing that sort of thing. I recommend you check what it out. He's phenomenal. genre is the, the soundtrack to the, to the Doom, uh, to Doom 4, rather? Like, Doom yeah. 4 and Doom, uh, whatever Doom 5 was called. Ugh! See, this had more, has more impact. Yeah. Yeah. And it's 2D. The muscle is chewing on the arm. That is so good. Bats! Bats! It looks like they edited a saber tooth sprite for Talban for uh Saber Wolf. Mm. Eh, maybe. Maybe, but I can't really tell. Is this sounds reminiscent of, like, the Doom soundtrack combined with the Metal Gear Rising soundtrack, you know? Oh, I used it. That's so good. Talbain's got some long-ass fingers. He must police fully show really well. <laughs> oh, yeah. The cat girl with the wolf boy. Castle what will their children the be? It's really good. I love the fight at the end. Will, they'll, will their oh, children yeah. just be, like, normal human and cat-dog hybrid? Yes. Guys, watch. <laughs> oh, this yeah. This is super good. It does get good here. Ugh. Intestino! And this is to go even further beyond! That's literally what he does. Oh, wow. That was actually really cool. Like that cut to the high de- The cut to the high definition art was neat. Oh. Holy fuck! Right? That was awesome. That's so fucking metal! Get this, uh, the guy who does the Death Battle songs, he does commissions. Yep. Yeah, Brandon Yates does do commissions. Yes. Yes, he does. As Ben, as ben yes, has tested does. out. Yeah, he, I, he's still working on mine, but I'll share it when it's finished and whenever he, he gets to it. He has he a lot did, on his plate. Yeah, he did do streams for a bit, but uh, I think... going to stick that into worthy de a worthy death. We'll go, yeah, we'll talk about the rankings when we watch, because... I, I honestly will say the research for this episode is really good. Hardly. Those pizza units John fought were capable of flying across the galaxy. Hundreds of millions What the f Okay, why? This is important because fellow Dark Stalkers Morgan and Dimitri have intercepted who in mid combat. Yeah, those two are a class. But genius Dark Stalkers like John have kept up with the higher classes in speed plenty of times. Hell, BB Hood can and she's a C class. When it comes to the dark stalking class system, yeah, BB Hood scares me. She's also playable at NBC too. Woo! She's awesome, man. So if anything, she is. Morgan is just bizarre. QB's also a B plus dark stalker, and she lifted that thirty million ton beehive way more than anything. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that is an excellent quote for uh for out of context. It's time for a death battle. I agree. To the top. Gets, to the top. To the top. Absolutely. Uh, not even a shadow of a doubt. Like, oh, it's so good. Like they made this episode, this random episode, just so good. I don't know why, but they did it so well. The fight, the research is really good. Like, the research especially, I have to say, really damn good. Like, uh, and the death is one of the best in the series as well, honestly. Like, that final third of the fight is some of the best Step Bal has done. Like, in most of their episodes. But, um, that's my opinion. What what do you think, uh, Kevin and, uh, Yami? It, it's, a, it's a worthy death. Really? Uh, mm. I thought it was. I thought it was. Uh, what do you I think? Was, uh, what do you I think could have been improved? improved? Yeah. What do oh, you think could no. have been improved? I'm curious. Um. So we got. I mean, we got it three. It, three S ranking. So I'm gonna put it in the S rank, and then I think that's it for today's episode. And then yeah, yeah I have it. to sit around waiting for an uh for an email from YouTube telling me that they've pulled their heads out of their asses. And then upload Did this they? video because they, uh, because they cut off the fucking stream. <sighs> yeah, that, that, that was annoying, but like, hey, that was fun. I would love to do that next Friday if possible. I don't know if our schedules will allow us. We might but be able to. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I'll definitely, I would definitely be up for it. I just but want yeah, them. fun. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that was a pretty fucking good. Yeah, before we, before fun. we go, I just want to. Like, if you guys had to speculate, what would be the spam deceptive practices or scam part of the uh, of the video? Do you guys think? Because <laughs> uh, can't be done. the description. What was that the was title? Yeah, um, uh, the title would, can't be the title either because that's a, both of those described exactly what was in the video. I would I would just I would I would do this keep the title the same but then um add in chapters like uh, one for like the first episode and then like one of the chapters is the uh yeah when we got taken yeah I'll out. do that and then yeah do that I see I'm gonna go out on a limb I'm going to say that our spam deceptive practices or scam was Ozzy you're not allowed uh, to have cute cartoon it, mascots Ozzy? I'm going Ozzy is I'm, taking us down I'm going to say that Ozzy he is is why we got taken down. No, and he's too he's too adorable. He's too cute. Uh, Ozzy's so cute that YouTube we give, hates him. Yeah, it, it's he presents an unrealistic standard for cuteness for YouTube mascots. <laughs> All right, so I think that's a good end of the video. Everyone have a good night. We'll see you hopefully next episode, which may be next Friday. Maybe. Yeah, it's a maybe, guys. But yeah, so. Have a very methly day. We'll see you next time. Yeah, here's uh we'll see you tomorrow with um the first episodes of Helsing Ultimate. Assuming first four that the episodes. episode is uploaded before that. Yeah.
It, it should be. I'm going to upload it as soon as we get done here. Woo! Yeah, okay. And here's hoping that uh, tomorrow's stream doesn't get fucked the way this one did. Considering <laughs> any, considering that all all ours has is a still image, it's usually... Yeah. I don't think that would be very likely. Oh, I hope not, but y you know, you remember all those streams of mine that got taken down for nudity despite the fact that there were no titties whatsoever in them. What game or what were you streaming about? Okay, so the first game that got taken down because of that was Watch Dogs. Watch Dogs got taken down because there was a brief flash of nipple in a mostly non-sexual context. And uh, then later on, I kept getting my streams taken down week on week in. And because of uh, random bullshit. It yeah. didn't Are matter what game streaming? I was playing. No, no, I'm still talking about YouTube bullshit. Um, <laughs> so YouTube, YouTube has no brains. Bye. 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 Bye.